everyone and welcome once again to my channel. Today's look is, as the title says, is how to go from basic to MILF in 15 minutes. Well, I think that's what I'm calling the title. I'm not sure yet. It's MILF, mother I'd like to friend or mother I like to follow. If you are offended by this title, I am sorry. Well, really, I am not sorry. If you are offended by this title, there is a back button here or here. What inspired this look is that a lot of my mom friends tell me, oh well, I don't have time to do my makeup. I don't have time to just sit down for an hour and get all glam. And you know what? I completely understand. I have three kids myself. I know it's hard and that's why I don't get glam every day. I don't do my makeup every day. I'm thankful enough that I work from home and I either look amazing or I look like this. There is no in between. So if you are a mom, or not only a mom, just if you're someone that does not have time to do their makeup or to spend half an hour doing their makeup every morning to go to work, then this is the perfect look for you. And it's only with drugstore products. That means that they're all affordable, or well, most of them are. And if you want to know how to recreate this look, then keep watching. Well, hello, I'm setting my timer to 15 minutes. That way you guys know I'm not cheating. And first, I am applying the number seven eye cream underneath my eyes. I'm a little under the weather here, and right now I'm a little under the weather as well. And I have some puffiness that I want to get rid of. And then next, I am applying a combination of moisturizer and primer. And this is not from the drugstore. This one is one that I got on an Ipsy bag, but I didn't have anything that was from the drugstores to use for this. But if I find something, I'll let you guys know. For my foundation today, I'll be using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation and I will be applying with a beauty blender. This is not my shade. Right now I got this in the summer. That's why I'm wearing a turtleneck right here. I'll let you guys know which shade it is down on the comment section below. So I am dabbing this foundation and this is a medium coverage. This is not a full coverage. You're going to see here that um, applying and then I try to apply a little bit more because I do like a full coverage foundation. As you can see, I have texture and some acne scars. But this is a great foundation for an everyday look if that's what you're going for and if you don't have the problems that I have with my skin at the moment. If I will do it again, I think I will apply a second layer, but I only did one layer here because I was afraid that it was going to get cakey. But I'll try a second layer another time and let you guys know as well. Here I'm making sure that it's nice and blended and I'm bringing the foundation down to my neck as well. That way I can have a perfect match. And I'm sorry that my voice sounds a little weird. I have a cold and I have my sultry voice on right now. So now I'm going to conceal using the Better Skin by Maybelline. And as you can see, I am using this concealer to highlight. This is a matte concealer as well. So I'm not sure if I would recommend this concealer if you have dry skin, as I said before. And then to blend, I'm going to be using again my Beauty Blender. I'm going to tap, 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 tap. Beat the crap out of my under eye. And make sure you work quick with this concealer because it dries really fast. And if you don't work with it quick, then it's not going to blend well. And make sure your beauty blender is nice and damped before you use it, of course. Next, I'm going to go with a powder, and this is the RCMA No Color Translucent Powder. This is not a drugstore product, but you can find it at Amazon for a very affordable price. I just didn't have anything that I could use that was from the drugstore. But still wanted to make this look on the affordable side. Then I am um, applying the powder and dusting it off immediately. And then I'm setting the rest of my face with the same powder as well. And again, all the products that I'm using today will be listed down below. I'm going to do my brow using the Milani Brow Fix. This is a powder and I have to admit this is something I've never done before because I'm used to using the Benefit Pencil but 
it was okay. It was okay to work with. I just had to get more practice with it. And I'm just filling in my brows because we only have 15 minutes. <laughs> I'm here like, oh shit. This was my better brow. Then once I'm filling them in, I will grab a spoolie. I have a spoolie brush thingy and I'm going to blend them in to make them look more natural. And once I'm done filling in my brows, I will go with the same concealer that we used and I'm going to use it as a shadow base. Blend it in. And then set it with the same RCMA translucent powder. And for my eyes, I'm going to be using the NYX Go To Palette and the first shade is going to be my transition shade. When I did the brush in the shadow, I noticed that a lot of product came out. So you have to be careful with these. And make sure you tap and use a circular motion to blend these shadows. Make sure they're nice and blended. Repeating the same process in the next eye. So once I applied my transition shade, I'm going to go with that chocolate colored shade and I'm also going to apply it on my lids just a little bit lower this time and bringing it into my outer corner. And again, using circular motions to make sure that the shadows are nice and blended. Same thing on the other eye. Then I decided to complete the eye with a shimmer shadow and this is Infallible by L'Oreal and I will list the shade down below and I used my pinky finger to apply this. I do find these shadows are easier to apply when you use your fingers and it saves me cleaning a brush so win-win. And these shadows are shimmery but they're not crazy shimmery that you cannot use during the day so this is a good thing. You can use it for a date look or a night look. Then I will smoke out that light brown shade on my lash line with a pencil brush. And then apply the lighter shade on my inner corner and my brow bone. And here it's not very well blended but I will blend it better. So you will see. For my lashes I'll be using the Voluminous Superstar by L'Oreal. And here you see that I'm trying to blend in my inner corner a little better. And the reason why I decided to choose this mascara is because it has a primer. And since I'm not going to be using fake lashes, I wanted my lashes to look the longest they can possibly look. Which by the way, I've been using coconut oil and castor oil at night to see if it makes them grow. I'll let you guys know how it goes. Once I'm done with my lashes, I'm going to bronze my face using the NYX Matte Bronzer. And this is on the medium shade. My god, this foundation did not cover anything. But it's not a bad thing. It's just not working for me. And for my blush today, I'll be using Milani's Luminoso. And this is a peachy blush with a hint of a shimmer. And this is a good blush to use when you're not using a highlighter. It will give you a little bit of a sheen. Oh my god, I only have two minutes left. Now I'm applying a lipstick by Milani, which I will be listing the color down below. Because I cannot remember right now. and I don't have it in hand. Try not to go over the lines. This is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And see that there's no excuse now. 15 minutes, you can do it. You can do it. Take it to work. You can even go out on a date with this. 15 minutes is all you need. Hmm? And I feel like I'm repeating myself right now. But it's true. If you would like for me to continue making videos like this, please give it a thumbs up. I am thinking about doing a how to become a MILF in 15 minutes with high-end products. 
Let me know if you have any suggestions on the comment box section below and please remember to subscribe. I really enjoyed making this look for you guys today and until next time. Mom friends ask.